Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. Technically this is part six of our series, but it could very much stand alone because it's all about sharing content within ArcGIS Online and ArcGIS Enterprise. What exactly is sharing? It gives us the ability to determine who can see content within our organization and it's done with what's known as groups. You create these groups and you add people into the groups and then you share content to the groups. So that if I'm not a member of a group, I can't see content that I don't need to have access to, which is a great way of keeping data maybe private or also maybe decluttering the amount of stuff that I have access to. Many times organizations might not or, uh, organize their data particularly well, and as a result, people just see all these maps when maybe they only actually just need one. So let's go ahead and take a look into how we can uh, apply some sharing within our organization. So here we go. Um, here I am, this is me, I'm the admin, and I have two other users here within my organization. I've got a general manager and I've got a field worker and I want to share some content with them. Well, how can I go about doing that? Well, I can create a group. And just so you know, in the event you want to work with something like field maps and you want to you know, create this map and have a number of people access it, this does require the creation of a group. And just to highlight this, if I quickly pull up my field workers license here, you can see I don't have any maps. Uh, nothing's been shared to me as a field worker. So I can't do those hydrant inspections like what we've been working on but a group can fix all of this. So I'll click on the groups tab up at the top of the screen. You'll see the other groups that I have listed below, but I'm gonna create a new group here. So I'll click on create group. I can give it a name. Maybe I'll call this like a field crews. I can give it a summary and I need to give it a tag as well. And then just a series of questions about this. Who can view this group? Only group members. Who can uh, contribute content to the group? Sure, group members. Um, you know, who can, you know, um, do editing or make changes, you know, this is great for collaboration depending upon uh, whether you choose only their own items or all items, who can see list of members, etc. So a bunch of simple questions that you get to answer. And when you're done, you can press create group. Now once the group is created, it's pretty much an empty shell, nothing really much is going on here. We can see we have one member right here and absolutely no content shared with it. So what I can do then is I can invite some users into this group. So I'll click invite users. I can look for members in my organization. Since this is for field crews, I'll choose field worker. We'll add him to the group. And now we can see we have two members here, but nothing's been shared to this group. There's no items, no maps, no data, no nothing. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hop back into my content. And here's everything we've been working on with those uh, hydrant inspections. In the event you want to learn more about what we did with this, you can check out the other videos linked down below in the description. Um, but here we go. Here's that map that we made. But something to keep in mind when we do our sharing is that we don't just want to share the map because that map contains the data, hydrant inspections and the recent hydrant inspection symbology. So to just share the map is not good enough. We want to share the content that's within the map. Uh, likewise, if I were to want to share out this uh, inspection dashboard, I would need to share out the dashboard, the map that's in the dashboard, and the data that's in the map that's in the dashboard. So you kind of have to have like this little sense of hierarchy of how your data is being um, used or how your content is participating uh, within the different applications that you build. But in my case, since I just want to share my field maps application with the field crew, um, that requires the map and then the underlying layers that are within it. And then I can come over here, I can click share, choose how I want to share it. I can make this you know, publicly available, share it with everyone across the organization. And again, just as a reminder that if you want to give people access to this map to be able to work within field maps, you always have to use a group. Sharing it with the organization is not enough. So since I want to make this map available to people in field maps, I'll click edit group sharing. I can find my field crews group, check the box, press OK, press save. And now I'll be able to see that uh, I have this little icon here to show that it's only shared with me and this F to represent the field crews group that we just made. So now if I go back into my field crews group, give this a refresh, I'll see that we have those two members and three items of content, map and the two layers. So now my field crew can access this information. So if I go ahead and I pull up field maps here, uh, logged in as my field crew, I can drag down to my screen, refresh it, and now I have access to that hydrant inspection map that we've had this, this entire time. And I can begin to go out and collect our data. So that's how we create a group. That's how we add members to a group. That's how we're able to share content to a group. As always, thanks for watching.